just interested, though, as to whether you think this is an issue with the way it's been communicated or whether you actually have an issue with the Act's intention, which is designed, the First Minister says it's designed to deal with a rising tide of hatred. Well, I would say I have a problem with both. And, and I was very interested to hear the First Minister's comments about this because I don't know where the evidence comes from that we have a rising tide of, ha of hatred. We've always had robust laws in Scotland uh, around treatment of hate incidents. Uh, those laws were working in the main quite well. Where the, the evidence seems to come from about a rising tide of hate is based on this whole policy of Police Scotland of recording every complaint they receive as a non-crime hate incident, even if they do not proceed to prosecute. And that is based entirely on the perception of the complainer. So you might get a vexatious complainer making hundreds of complaints against an individual such as such as J.K. Rowling, the police then have to record every single one of these, these complaints as a hate incident, irrespective of the merits and irrespective of the evidence. That then skews the figures. So that data is utterly worthless so, from a statistical viewpoint. While we're talking about that, what is happening with um, the, the non-crime hate incident that has been logged against you? We understood that you were to take action against Police Scotland because they didn't tell you about it. Well, what I've done is I've taken legal advice with the help of the uh, Free Speech Union, who've been extremely helpful. And the legal advice we've taken is that that policy being being implemented by Police Scotland, not just in relation to me, but more generally, is unlawful because it breaches uh, human rights law. I've written to Police Scotland about this. I've given them until the 5th of April, which is Friday, uh, to respond. Uh, and if they're not prepared to deal with this, then... We certainly will consider taking court proceedings subject to having the resources. The police in England had to change their policy on the recording of non-crime hate incidents following the Court of Appeal uh, case in relation to Harry Miller. Now, the, the police in England's policy at that point was deemed to be unlawful. They changed their policy for reasons best known, known to themselves. Police Scotland have so far refused to do so. I believe they have to. Otherwise, and we're simply going to see a huge amount of police time being wasted dealing with spurious and vexed complaints. Do you know as yet whether Police Scotland has to, decided to treat J.K. Rowling's social media comments as a non-crime hate incident? Because we know that they're not going to de de deal with them as, as criminal incidents. Police Scotland yesterday, as I understand it, were refusing to answer journalists' questions on this point. Now, in line with existing police policy, there is no doubt about this, complaints against J.K. Rowling, even if dismissed and even if not uh, leading to prosecution, have to be recorded as non-crime hate incidents, each and every single one.